Noop Hoti for MA Plus reporting from Thai Fight in London at the O2 Indigo. I'm here with Alex Bublé, who uh, unfortunately didn't get quite get the decision you wanted. No, not today. I've I've had five fight win streak, so we were bound to lose it sometime. And this is you know this is the fight I actually really wanted to win, and that's when you end up not getting it. Uh, I fought a really really tough. Guy. I think he's the toughest guy I've ever fought. He came at me relentless, relentless. I did hurt him. He didn't really hurt me, but I just couldn't really cope with his style. So now back to the drawing board. I know what I gotta do, and we're gonna do it. Next one's gonna be it's gonna, definitely gonna be a win. You say you couldn't deal with his style, but it looked to me, first round was flawless on your part. You just, um, you know, if I think lesser men would have buckled the way you performed, put it on him in the first round. And what I noticed, I think you're the only one that really was moving your head, throwing your punches, and your combinations were frequent and very damn effective. Second round, I think you were just tired more than anything else. Third round, he, you know, his elbow is coming through more, but you got back in it. And I think it's just that more that round two that probably counted against you more than anything else. Yeah, that's exactly. Do you know what? It's not, I'm, I believe to myself to be the fittest man on the planet, mm. but it's such a psychological sport. If you don't think you're winning, you said my first round was flawless. If I would have seen it on the screen, I'd say, wow, that's really good. I probably would have been so much better. But in my head, I was, I was getting pushed back. I don't know why that happened, but in my head, I was like, why am I being pushed back? And I think I burned through all that energy just thinking that I'm not good enough. Even though I came back, I hurt him. I hurt him more than he hurt me, even though he caught me with about one or two or 25 elbows. Yeah. <laughs> no cuts, as you can see. Yep. No cuts, nothing. A little bruise here and there, but that's, that's it. Uh, it's just, I don't know. Third round, everything I had left, everything I hadn't had left anymore in the tank, I still managed to find a little bit and, 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 and try and finish the fight. As you say, lesser men would have buckled. I'm 100% sure that no one would have been able to take as many shots, which is not something that you want to brag about. Yeah, I can take shots in the face. No, you want to be bragging about I can block shots, but if I have to take it, I can. So There's loads of positives I can take from this as well. And yeah, we, we know what to work on and we're going to work on it. I'm not going to dwell on it too much. It is Muay Thai of the highest level, of the highest caliber. He was the fittest fighter out of all the Thai team. <laughs> I'm lucky me got him <laughs> as usual. Well, you were in awesome shape. I saw you the other week. Well, at Nolsey Academy and you've got muscles upon muscles, <laughs> abs upon abs, intercontinental muscles upon Yeah, but if, if I would have had someone that wouldn't be that fit, I probably wouldn't have learned. And then I would have went into the next fight relaxed and sooner or later I would have paid for it. Well, I, I'd rather learn now mm. and, and get better and better as, as the fights go on. So it was all right. It wasn't, my ego is bruised, I can't say it's not. And I don't like, <laughs> sorry about the language, I fucking hate losing. But it is part of the game, you have to do it. And all the hard work we, we put in, it still led us to loads of positives which we're going to work on and improve and now i got loads of fights lined up in the next two months three months i think i got four fights lined up or something like that so we're busy and all everything i've learned in this fight i'm going to put to practice in the next fights would you have preferred five rounds instead of three rounds i would have pre preferred for him to go down when i punch him in the chin so many times <laughs> about the rounds it would probably be being the same because my energy levels would drop very low and I don't think and I would have been able to recover mentally from that. I make it sound like who knows, it destroyed me or something. No, it was a very balanced fight. It was actually a war. But in my mind, I wasn't winning. I wasn't doing enough, which is something that has to change. So if I went for five rounds, it's just a matter of which one of us would have lasted more mentally. On the subject of being of the mental side of things, do you do any? Do you get any uh, mind coaching? Because it's become. I do. Yeah, I do get mind coaching. Uh, it has helped me visualize it. Has has helped me grow in the fighter that I am today, and it will help me grow in the fighter that I'm, that I want to become tomorrow. When people ask uh, fighters, "Who's your idol? Who's your hero?" Then everyone says, "Ah, Burkow, Michael Schumacher, Usain Bolt." Um, yeah, all of those. But then more than that is the future me. The person that I want to become is there on a pedestal, and I'm going to work to become that person. And yeah, all, all that mind coaching and visualizing really helps, really helps. You mentioned you've got uh, about four fights lined up for the remainder of the year. Mm -hmm. Are you able to say where and when? Uh, I've got a couple of them in China. And then I've got one more. I've got title, world title defense in London, in Watford. That's on, on the Royal Combat League, 22nd of October. Yep. Uh, before that, so three weeks, three weeks from now, we're going to China to fight. That's a massive weight difference compared to what I fight. Now I fight 67, 70. That's going to be 75 kilos. Which promo? Sorry? Which promotion? I have no idea. Which promotion is it? Can I say it? Chris. It's a new one. Okay. That, uh, that's basically code name for you can't say it. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. Well, I'll, I'll leak it later. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and then, uh, and then I think the same promotion again later towards the end of the year.